At Mount Sinai, Moses gave the law to the people of Israel. This law, the Torah, was written down in what would become the first five books of the Bible. But according to traditional Judaism, Moses also gave a second set of laws, which were not written down, but were instead repeated orally from generation to generation for over 1,500 years, until they were finally codified in the Mishnah of the Talmud. So we know that the written Torah was given by God. But what about this oral Torah? The Bible certainly never mentions one. Could the Talmud actually have come from Moses? Well, what do the scriptures say? In 2 Kings 22 and 2 Chronicles 34, the Bible records that the temple was in disarray due to generations of neglect from the Israelites following after foreign gods. Eventually, a righteous king named Josiah ascended to the throne of Judah and ordered for the temple to be repaired. During the renovations, a book of the Torah was discovered and was read to the king. When Josiah heard it, he was shocked and greatly distressed, tearing his clothes. For great is the wrath of the Lord that is kindled against us, he said, because our fathers have not obeyed the words of this book. After hundreds of years of idolatry and rebellion, the Jews forgot and lost the Torah. The oral commands of the Talmud were meant to explain the written commands of the Torah. So if the people of Judah weren't even able to obey, remember, or preserve Moses' written commands, how could they have been able, or willing, to accurately preserve oral ones? How could they continuously retain an oral Torah, yet simultaneously forget the written Torah it relied upon? So, based on the biblical account, an oral Torah could not have survived, since even the written Torah had been lost. So wherever the Talmud came from, it didn't come from Moses. Shalom, everyone. Thanks so much for watching our most recent video. My name's Isaac Jeffrey, and I provided the voiceover. And I'm Josiah Jeffrey, and I animated it. We've both been working with our father, Kevin, for years, doing behind the scenes stuff like editing and design, helping to produce the Biblically Correct podcast, and even writing a few articles. But this is our first unique project that we're doing ourselves for Perfect Word. As we make more videos like the one you just watched, our vision for this ministry is to use my abilities in animation and our combined calling to teach to share the truth of scripture in a concise and interesting way. But more than that, our hope is that we can reach a younger audience, the people in our own generation. This generation is one of the most biblically illiterate generations in modern history, both inside and outside the body of Messiah. Short animated videos are a format that young people can relate to, enabling us to teach them what the scriptures say on a wide variety of topics, from correct theological understanding, to practical day-to-day -day action, to the saving message of the good news of Yeshua. But even though such a short and simple video seems like it would be quick and easy to make, it was actually really complex and expensive, with just one minute of content taking over 40 hours to animate. If we hope to continue this ministry of making more short-form animated videos, then we need your help. Please consider sending us a donation at perfectword.org slash donate to financially support us in reaching younger generations. Videos like these will only be effective if they can be produced consistently on a regular basis. And the work to make that happen is impossible without your help. Thanks again for watching and for your support in our video animation ministry. Shalom.